Hi there, hi there, hi there, everyone. It is Monday, and if you're like me, <laughs> you don't want to. You finish a day of work or you're almost through, and it's just been kind of a, uh, uh, and we're going into the holidays. So there's things that we need to be thankful for, guys. And so that's what we're going to be concentrating on. In spite of everything that's been happening, there's so many things that we need to be thankful for. But my name is Carla. I'm your relationship doula, helping women and men bravely birth peace in the pieces of their lives. So now guys, Thanksgiving is coming and I know it's going to be different for some who would, may choose not to get with their family so that they can avoid having a funeral for Christmas. So it really is um, up to you to make your decisions on how you're choosing to uh, celebrate this Thanksgiving season. But even though you may not celebrate it with people, you still may have some food. <laughs> <laughs> that we're indulging with anyway. So my guest today is uh, Tara. And so Tara, I'm going to let her explain, introduce who she is. And I'm going to tell you how I knew her and what she's added into my life. So Tara, give us a little, listen. tell us who you are. I am Tara Taylor. I am an entrepreneur. I own my own business. Um, fitness is my thing. Um, it's been my thing for a long time. It's been my passion. It was my hobby. It is now my career and I enjoy motivating others to do what they believe that they cannot do. And she said that so well, because I, I, I sort of knew Tara years ago, but didn't really know her, but through my sister, um, and the holiday fitness challenge, that's how I got reacquainted with Tara. And we're gonna tell you about this holiday fitness challenge, but she's been doing it for almost 10 years. I think I saw that in our Facebook group, but Tara will be sharing some information because you'll be able to follow her on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, and even find out what her website and all that good stuff that I think is going to be, um, that's going to help motivate you during this holiday season, even though it's going to be virtual. Um, and Donna Anderson says, oh, she loves your fitness wear. We're going to talk about that too, because I have my mind right here too. It's nothing like being <laughs> cute and working out. But anyway, let me slow down a little bit. Thanksgiving is coming up. One of the things that Tara enjoys doing is motivating people who think they can't work out to work out. Because if you get to know Tara, she's not your typical fitness coach. She's not going to tell you, oh, don't eat, stop eating all your bad stuff. <laughs> because she has her own indulgences, don't you? I do. I do. Yes. <laughs> that means you really do know me if you know I have my own indulgences. <laughs> but she has a way of making you push to the limit um what you want to do so one of the things that i know about tara about her passion is even when exploring fitness for youth for a while years ago you lived in cleveland and i remember when my sister told me how you took a bunch of young people who weren't exposed to certain things and you got them up and running you exposed them to certain places in their city they didn't even know exist and so why was that an important factor for you in why you do what you do, especially for young people? So this program started, I was at the Y in Cleveland at this time, and there were, um, you know, a couple groups working on this project and they were looking for volunteers. And I was like, running? Okay, this is something I can do. Helping, sharing my love of running with the whole generation and helping them to get into the running spirit and just, you know, it running makes me happy most of the times. I mean, it's hard and sometimes it doesn't make me so happy, but most of the time it makes me happy and I love being out there. So I decided that I would, um, I would volunteer and I would coach with this program. And I started volunteering with the program and that first, uh, that first race day, I think it was like 2006 or something like that. Um, all of these kids, it was the first race year was about 80 kids and we were out there and I was supposed to be one of the leaders, right? I was going to direct them. I was going to be in the front. They were going to be behind me and I was going to lead them off. <laughs> it did not go that way. Right. 
They just, what you tell them not to do is exactly what they did. They just took off. As soon as the, as soon as we said go, they just took off and just like sprinted. And <laughs> just watching them and watching them at the finish line, they were so excited and so happy and just happy for what they had done, happy for what they had accomplished. And that was like, that was the best day of my life because I was trying to figure out um, within the YMCA where I fit. There's, there's some things that people can do that like anyone can do. And I just was, I had just hadn't found my niche within the YMCA. And when this program came along and I was given this opportunity, I found where I should be. Okay. And so that began a journey. I know of you exposing young people and to fitness and making it fun. Somewhere along the line, we stopped having fun yes. with fitness. And it's because of Tara and my sister that I got involved with Black Girls Run. So because of the fitness and my brother Lloyd, they all played a, a very important part in getting us to be uh to actively start um, exercising and being just active in our lives, not sitting. But I remember still the first time when we did all got together at the Black Girls Run and we did a race um, there and you had quite a few of people who you had encouraged to participate and they were there as well too. And Tara loves some purple. So she already had her, always had her cute little purple outfit for um, her races. <laughs> <laughs> she inspired me to just do other things. And so my question is, was it because of you wanting to just, well, I'm not going to phrase it that way. What made you decide to now veer off into a fitness line or an active wear line? Where did that come from? So during my fitness time uh, with running, when I first started running, it was way before Black Girls Run. So when I did my first race, my first turkey trot, um, there were maybe four black people out there and I think I was the only black woman. The other ones were guys. And so I loved it. I thought, I, at first I thought, this is what, this is what they do. This is what they do on Thanksgiving. They run. They're not at home cooking. They're not, they run. That's what they do. And I was, I, I was excited. It was fun. It was lots of families there um, with their kids. And I, I, I was hooked at that particular time. Um, but what I noticed was there was, I was not out there. It was just me. There was nobody that looked like me out there at all. Um, I'm also a lover of workout gear. Just if I will take on a new sport, I will take on a new activity if I get to buy new clothes. And <laughs> that's just who I am. I mean, at one time I started to take off, take up golf and tennis because I'm like, ah, those are some cute clothes. Those skirts are really, those are really nice. Um, but as every year I would, you know, wait until the spring, the summer, um, when the new styles would come out, the new tank tops would come out. And every year it was the same thing. It was Nike's just do it in another color, but it was still just do it. Um, and around the same time is when, you know, the black girl magic, black girl power stuff started coming out with t-shirts and stuff, but I wasn't, I had a, you know, a professional job. I wasn't wearing t-shirts at all. And so, um, between those two things, between me not seeing myself in the fitness world, in the running world, the t-shirts coming out, I wanted to wear them, but I really had nowhere to wear them. Um, I came up with this hey, maybe if I create a line of fitness wear that is technically appropriate, good for working out, but still has some of the same powerful sayings, yes, such as muscles and melanin, still has some of the same powerful sayings that can be worn while I'm running, while I'm in the gym, while I'm walking, that can empower me, that can motivate me, that can motivate others to keep moving forward. That's kind of how I got into it. And so I'm sure you guys mind. What was yes. interesting to me is when I wore this one one time, a lady asked me, what is melanin? melanin. <laughs> yes. yes. I so again, that, I get that a lot. You, you get an opportunity to help them expand the vocabulary um, with that because I like, um, I like the kind of active wear you have. One of my favorite ones, I don't, I think it's, I don't think you have any more of this one, but I always get, lots of love for this one 
that says uh, my no burpees formed against me. Now on the back of most of yours, you have your theme, get up, get moving, get healthy. Where did that come from? Wow. That's a good question. Get up, get moving, okay. get healthy. Where did that come from? Well, I, I, will, that? I will put you on the spot right now, okay. but I, you could tell her gear guys, because it says get up, get moving, get healthy. And it's just something that we all can do get up get moving get healthy so she has a facebook group that you definitely can connect up with so talking about that i wanted to let you guys know about the holiday fitness challenge that tara has been doing now for 10 years and i've been participating not all 10 because i didn't start off with tara doing this but she's just able to so tell us what the holiday fitness challenge is sure, and why you developed it so yeah, so this is our 10th year. So I'll just go back from, I'll just go back to the beginning. Um, I was teaching classes, fitness classes, boot camp classes at both um, Cleveland Clinic and Cleveland and Cleveland State University. And so there was a large break, um, especially for Cleveland Clinic. They had a large break in programming of the classes. So it was about three weeks, three and a half weeks that I would not see them. And when I would get back in January, it's like, I'm just starting over. I'm starting all over. We've made all this program for the last six to eight weeks and I was starting over. So I decided between that break, I would just do my own class for them. And then since I was teaching you know, at Cleveland State, I just decided, why don't I bring Cleveland State and Cleveland University together? That was the absolute best because both groups were my favorite, <laughs> absolutely my favorite. They thought that they were my favorite. Both each of them thought that they were my favorite and they were. Um, and there were a lot of competition within the group. That is what I loved about them so much. So that's how I got, that's how I started off. We just came okay. together and we did a boot camp class. Um, some things were competitive, some things I made them work together, but it was something that we we did every year for about three or four years. And then people, we were having so much fun. The people in different cities, people that weren't in my class, they were like, I want to participate. I want to do it. I wish I lived in Cleveland. And so I just came up with the virtual aspect before, you know, Zoom classes were, you know, in style or a thing. I came up with a plan to let people outside of Cleveland participate. So that's it. it and it's, it's good because it keeps people motivated and it keeps people going through a very stressful time of the year mm -hmm. um, and not just those two classes but most people tend to drop off they tend mm -hmm. to eat more and it's just a stressful time for some people so it's um it's a very good uh stress reliever sometimes and it's a good distraction and I like how you say a good stress reliever and good distraction, because for me, when I do the challenge, my goal isn't even to lose weight, it's to make sure I don't gain any weight right. <laughs> during that time. So if I don't gain, I have won a big time. And so for those of you who, who would be interested, it's open enrollment. So we're gonna definitely put a link there for those of you who want to find it. But actually, if you go to her website, um on www and i'm going to type that in natural um i don't type fast fitness uh design right natural fit designs night fit not fitness natural fit designs okay um you can actually look under her the um the link that says holiday fitness challenge and it is there where it's just $50 guys talking about an investment, a gift for yourself. It's priceless. So some of the different things that, and I don't know how Tara is going to switch it up this year because it's kind of virtual. It's always virtual, but because of COVID, um, but we would have to do different things like um, <laughs> um, mountain climbers or some activity to a Christmas song. <laughs> So she just made it so um, fun to do something that you want to you want to fuss with her about. You know, talk about doing burpees. We've even because again, she's not gonna be she's not gonna let up on you. She does have modifications for those people who have um, knee problems or different things. So it's not it's for fun, guys. You know, it's the honor system. 
Um, she has a Facebook group so that we can kind of post some of our funnier. <laughs> Your pictures and videos. Yes, yes, our funnier pictures that we have to do. But as she says, it's just a great way of accountability so that you can stay active during the holidays. So I highly recommend it to anyone who feel like they're in a slump. You may be feeling a little lonely. Oh, hey, Martise. Yes, I'm glad I'm sharing this too. Um, if you're feeling a little lonely over the holiday seasons, I tell you, this, this group you know, I even cut up in this Facebook group and most of you may not see me cut up, but there's certain places where I do cut up <laughs> in that Facebook group. I say all kinds of foolishness or things. Um, so wonderful, wonderful. Um, I think the best thing. thing about this group is the community, right? I think that no matter if you're just starting or if you've been doing this for a long time, everybody is welcomed and everyone encourages each other, right? So yeah. some, you may not have a good day. You, oh, I didn't get the challenge done. Oh, that's okay. There'll be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Or, hey, you still got another hour. Or it was mm -hmm. hard for me too. Come on, let's do it. I'll do it with you. Stuff like yeah. that. That yeah. I think that is the best part, a best part of this challenge is the community and even um, beyond the group. What I have noticed over the years, especially with Facebook is, oh, I didn't know you two were friends. So you met in the group and now you're Facebook friends. And then if you're going to a city where someone that you met, you live, you guys are getting together doing things or just you know saying hi that you're in the city. So I think community is the best part of this group. And that is so true because, because of the Facebook group, I've actually met people that when I went to a different race, there they were and I'm like, oh, you are such and such, your <laughs> sister is such and such. And it's just like, oh, you know, it's like you connect and bond over, over that, over life. And it is just really encouraging, as you say, because even now Tara has the pre-group, some people who are already doing their steps. Now I've lagged off on my steps, but now that I see them, I'm like, okay, yeah, Carly, got to get back on it. Get your 10,000 steps in. Because sometimes you just need that to see others posting their chart <laughs> that they've gotten their steps. And it's like, Okay, Carla. Okay. Okay. Because as Tara said, normally we do the, to kick it off, we normally do the turkey day trot. Yes. But because of COVID and everything else, we're doing it virtual. So people don't even have to go to a race, which that was fun too, to get out on Thanksgiving day in different cities and see other people dressed in costumes sometimes, um, the pilgrim, the turkey, what they did, what we learned what other people do on Thanksgiving day. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so that is what we just do. Cause how many, how many, how many, what's the distance for that one for our first? A, a 5k, so 3.1 miles. And a five? I see, this is the nicer, gentler Tara doing this 2020 because it's been such a hard year. You don't have to register for a race. You don't even have to register a virtual race. You could just go out and do it by yourself. And mm -hmm. normally you would have to do that with other people. Mm -hmm. But since we're in this space where we are, you don't have to do it with other people. And you can even bike. If your weather is such that you can bike, you can even bike. Yeah. So you see, guys, you may have met Tara as a nicer, gentler person. <laughs> Because, uh, right, we would, I remember one year I live in Alabama and I didn't even know they would do a race. And lo and behold, I looked and I'm like, oh, they have one. And it only was because that was the day where their two local, their football game. And so they had a race and it happened to be that Thanksgiving days from the college, um, colleges, some group did it. And I was like, oh, and again, I was like the only one out there of my complexion, but I did it. And my family was out there to support me. None of them joined the race with me, but they were there as I finished that um, 5K. So wherever you are, next year may be different. But for right now, guys, you can actually just go use your Fitbit, use whatever tracking device you have and do a 5K. And she even said, if you're on your bike, because what we would normally do is now post our results in our Facebook group. And um, sometimes you have a spreadsheet. Are you going to use the spreadsheet, the Google document this year? 
No, no, no. We we've, we've moved up, so we're gonna go back to the app. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the app, the Google Docs was it was getting treacherous with so many people and um, people, you know, moving cells around and entering stuff into wrong cells. And so <laughs> we're gonna use the app again this year, and that will be um, that'll open up probably Tuesday tomorrow. So right. So I forgot that the last couple of times we have been using the app. So again, her team is very forward thinking and ahead of the game in so many ways. So even when we put our things with the app, um, she had us do a nutritional thing. Sometimes we have to do an affirmation. So it's just different things that Tara has us doing that just makes us stay focused, stay connected and Stay moving, which is her motto. So talking about your support team, I know I always get a kick out of it when I see you, um, even with your line of active wear with your team. So who is included in your team of support there? My team of support. Well, the reason I got into fitness is because of my mother. So she is definitely on my team of support. And of course, my husband is my my husband is my team. Um, I have other people that I look up to for their consistency, especially in running. Um, there's a couple girls and black girls run that I look up to, um, and I kind of I kind of watch them and watch their they're just one is Nikita. She's from Cleveland, and when I moved to Cleveland, you know I knew it was cold and I knew it was gonna you know snow. I, I knew all of that, but I didn't know that black girls ran all year long like, <laughs> it's snowing outside like no it's seriously snowing outside it's ice outside and they're up at five o'clock in the morning wow. running. and i'm like well how are you running on snow and so they bought these things for their shoes called yak the um the brand was yak tracks and you put mm -hmm. them around your shoe and it prevents you from sliding in the snow you can run and I said, I cannot believe. And, and just from those interactions in Cleveland, I've continued to watch and continue to just be motivated by um, certain certain women and certain women's in Black Girl Run and certain women that I have met um, met other places. And those are those are kind of those are kind of my support group. They're, they are my motivation. You know, I motivate and I inspire others. But those are the people that motivate and inspire me to continue to go. Because I know at one of the races, I know I got to meet your mom. And so, yes, as she does, because one of the things I think I like what you're doing and what what Black Girls Run and others are doing is helping us as women, especially as we get older, to stay active. Because so often it's as though we're you put yourselves out to pasture and we don't we don't live an active lifestyle like we should to keep our health um, at its optimum. And so I love when I see more and more um, older people, which I'm becoming one of those two, <laughs> active and moving. So, so we want to be able to do that as long as possible. And so I like that. Now she mentioned her husband and he's a great photographer. So one of the things that I love to, when I tag along with Tara is because her hubby, they think he's, he's he's one of them with these wonderful cameras. So we get all these wonderful shots um, at the different races that and events that um, Tara Tara does. But Tara, is there a specific um, age group that should or shouldn't sign up for the Holiday Fitness Challenge? No, it's open to um, it's open to all age groups. I have I have. A couple seniors. Um, I think the last two years I've had like three people over the age of 70 and one person in their 80s. Um, but then I also have a um, one lady's grandson and he's in there and he every year he reminds his grandmother that, hey, when is it time for the holiday fitness challenge? Are we doing the holiday fitness challenge every this year? So he is, you know, He's keeping everyone motivated. So yeah, whatever age you are, as long as you're willing to do what it takes and to have fun, then mm -hmm. you can join in. Okay. Now guys, I know I'm hopping um, from one thing to another, but I'm going to go back to um, Tara's fitness line. Because one of the things that I have thoroughly enjoyed seeing you as an entrepreneur is how you've used your platform for your activewear as a social platform as well too. So 
Um, can you share about that for me, please? How that came about? Yeah, so I, I think I, I had a couple in the beginning, like I had um, during the during the time of, you know, Trayvon Martin, the shootings and just just everything going, just everything hitting the fan. Um, one of the shirts that I did was make racism wrong again. Um, and it's, it's, it's a funny thing that that shirt had gone, I had it on my clearance, right? It was on clearance. I was about to take it off of, uh, about to take it off of my, out of my, off of my website. And then George Floyd, um, that whole situation and issue came about. And it was one, once again, it was one, a couple of girls in Cleveland, they were running and they wore their shirts. And someone was like, I need that shirt. I need that shirt. Where'd you get that shirt from? Where'd you get that shirt from? And those popped off. Um, what I was looking for is during COVID, it's, I'm not going to be the one that's on the front lines protesting. So I was looking for something that I could do. I was looking for a way that I could use my platform. Um, in business, sometimes you, people tell you don't take sides, don't discuss politics, don't discuss money. Um, but with my platform, I decided that this is what I believe in. So if this is what I believe in and this, I need to share. I need to share what I believe in. I need to share what's right. I can't you know, hide behind my business saying, you know, what if someone doesn't like it? They're not going to buy. Um, no, I wanted to make a statement and these shirts, these shirts make a statement. There are a lot of my shirts that you have to be, you have to be brave to put some of them on. Um, he has to go. Um, I got, I get so many looks like he has to go. What are you talking about? 44, 45 has to go. 45 D T has to go. Donald Trump has to go. We told y'all, he showed y'all. Now what? He has to go. He has to go. Um, lift every, lift every voice and vote. Telling everybody just to get out there, to get out there and vote. Um, with Kamala Harris, our new Madam Vice President, I'm still speaking. Mm -hmm. So many times, not just for her, but for black women everywhere, we're interrupted. People aren't listening to what we're saying. So I'm still speaking. I need for you to listen to me, not interrupt me, not to think that you know more than I do. So this was, these shirts are just a way for me to express what so many are feeling. Um, and people get to say what they're feeling, share what they're feeling without saying, without saying a word. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so, that is so good. Cause I do have the one, um, make racism wrong again. And I was in New Orleans and I had that on and was walking down Bourbon street, every place with my shirt. And again, I got a few looks, but then, you know, someone else of a different ethnicity walked by me and say, I agree with you. You know, he walked. And so again, yeah. um, it's, it's, it is, it's, it's something that people are uncomfortable with. Cause I hear you, many people don't want to say anything, but I loved it when I started seeing those things, because like you said, not all of us are going to go out and physically be there because of COVID because there is, we don't want to catch anything, but being able to still make a statement um, in there. Cause I know if you go on her website, again, Natural Fit Designs, you guys will be able to see, she has even the face mask um, that that is, is, is poignant, but true is like, I can't breathe. Just different things that just speak to the issues that um, many are going through and you just don't know how to say it or even how to start the conversation so we we don't want to make people feel uncomfortable so many times we don't say anything but we do have to start having these conversations so that they know how we're feeling that um i'm a little bit uncomfortable you know i live in the south i'm a, i'm uncomfortable <laughs> I'm uncomfortable um, and I and I have to be aware of where I am at all times because um, I just need to be aware yes. of where I am I at all times. So I um, would love to do for you guys to check out her, her line 
of active wear because as I said, they're comfortable. They are, she has with winter and the fall coming up now, she has the hoodies and um, different ones there. And I saw the one that you have just run um, is one of those that's one of the new newer ones on yes, the site. That's the part of the Just Do Something collection. So I know that once again, during this 2020, a lot of people stuck to their, you know, stuck to their training, stuck to their healthy habits, but others fell off and they're feeling guilty and feeling bad. And my whole message is just do something. Five mm -hmm. or 10 minutes, just run, just walk, just lift, mm -hmm. just do something. You don't right. have to live up to your free March 2020 standards, but you do have to keep moving forward. Because that's one of the things when we do our holiday fitness challenge, there's really, she takes away your excuses. So, you know, we all can, you may not be able to run at a park, but uh, if you don't have a backyard, loop around your house or something, you can find something. So it's just wonderful when you start thinking of the different options is like, oh, I can do this. Let me think of a different way to get up, get moving, get healthy, because this is a gift for you guys. It really is. It's not for anyone else, but for you, if you want to unwrap the package, because one of, I don't know what motivates you to stay healthy. What motivates you to stay healthy, Tara? Well, I mean, I think number one, well, not necessarily number one, but we all, we all want to look good, right? We all want to look good. So that's going to be with looking good, feeling good and staying healthy. And so those just jump around just depending on what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. At the very core of everything, it is being healthy, so that um, what runs in my family is diabetes, um, high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So I do not want to get to a point where I'm taking insulin. I, do, I, I don't want to get to that point. So at the very end of the day, when nothing else works, it's you have to get up and walk because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. these are your health goals. Mm -hmm. If nothing else works, if you know, I don't, I don't want to look cute, cute in those jeans. If that's not working, I don't care how it looks. I don't care. I can wear leggings all the time. I don't care. Okay. Well, the very last thing is you want to stay healthy for as long as you can. Um, yeah. And that's, that's, that's the foundation of what, that's the foundation of how I keep going. And, and and this is just a side note. I'm currently listening to um, Kamala's book and I loved how on your site you put, so we know how to say her name because I would, <laughs> would bring it up, but I'm like, oh, Kamala. And then listening to her tell her own story. Mm -hmm. But one of the things in her book, and I had to just sit it down for a minute and just pause it when she was just talking about the industry of health and the pharmacy and the health insurance and how we are coming becoming sicker as a nation and we aren't putting people in place who can take care of us because they're not even giving a livable wage to your people who are going to be our caregivers and in a few years when the baby boomers um are really up there there's going to be a crisis so when i heard that i thought oh this is even more of a reason why i need to be as healthy as possible for as long as possible because the quality of care may not be there and the person to care for you may not be there. And if it's somebody who's barely making it, making ends meet, they could care less about you exactly. because of the circumstances. Um, so it is to all of our benefit to be mindful of the health that we can control when we can control it. And, um, address some of those issues in that book too, but that's a whole different story. But that's what I thought of today too. And so making some decisions to definitely stay active and um, do that. So without giving anything away, do you have any particular surprises for us for this holiday fitness challenge? I, I don't. I think that my goal with this is just to make it easy to participate. Okay. I think that we've had it hard enough this year. I, I think that, um, you know, we'll do some of the same thing. We'll do some of the same things. We'll have the same theme days, Marathon Monday, Triple Threat Tuesday. Um, Wednesday affirmation. Well, you... we'll wellness Wednesday, Thursdays, we'll throw those in. 
um, Fitness Fridays and Saturday Night Lives. We will it, it will be it will be basically some of the same things, but always some surprises in there. Always some fun stuff, you know. Some you know, yeah. <laughs> now, tell them how to find you on Facebook and Instagram, please. Sure. Um, you can find me at Natural Fit Designs for both of those. Natural Fit Designs. You okay. always you'll see G three Health and Wellness Solutions. But I'm moving most things to, um, I'm trying to combine my accounts and make everything natural fit designs. Natural fit designs. I'm going to put that up there at natural fit designs. Okay. So that again, guys, if you just want to get some really great um, fitness accountability and tips. So she does have a free uh, Facebook group that you can find there and you can follow her on Instagram uh, as well. So you'll be able to social media, Instagram, and are you on Twitter? Not really. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm still exploring with that, but you can definitely um, find her there. Now, thank you guys for tuning in. Oh, Tiffany's tuned in as well to Martiz, Donna, Rebecca, um, Clarice, I saw that you were tuning in. So if there are any other questions that somebody has pertaining to the natural, I mean, sorry, the holiday fitness challenge, that's just going to be $50. You can find it on the website under holiday fitness challenge. And the kickoff is actually Thanksgiving day. Thanksgiving and day. it goes until January, January the 2nd. January the 2nd. So it takes us through um thanksgiving christmas and the new year so that you can just have some accountability and have some fun there and now some of you who are listening even if you're in another part of the world you can still sign up virtually with us because the she usually posts in the group and like she said you're going to get an app so you'll get an email with the app that you can now link in and be able to put in the uh, challenges that you've completed and get that information there. And then you'll have the Facebook group as well too, that you can meet some great people and have some accountability for, for that. Okay, so um, I've already asked you about your the fitness design and the social justice that you've um, made a part of your uh, active wear. Now, switching subjects a little bit, you said you like running. What other kind of workouts that you do? Because are you currently teaching a class now there in the area? No, I have not taught since March. I have not okay. taught. I'm missing it. I am. I was teaching boot camp and cycling, and I had a couple private clients, um, but I have not I have not seen clients, nor have I taught since March. Um, okay. I think it was May that one of the clubs called me back, and I was like, nope, mm -hmm. <laughs> what are your protocols? And they gave me their protocols, which were pretty much non-existent, and I mm -hmm. said, no, I'm not. Okay. I'm not ready to come back yet. Now, so without having that then, other than running, are you doing any particular type of workouts that you are doing yourself? So yes, I, I'm still doing strength training, not as much because I'm not going to a gym, um, but I'm still doing, and usually it's really quick workouts. So it is 15 minute strength workouts and I'm gone. I do a little bit of, of high intensity training, the, um, the car high intensity cardio going back and forth with weights, um, but mostly it's my quickie strength training workouts, walking and running. And when she said that, when we do the holiday finish challenge, which is a Tuesday's triple threat uh, Tuesday, normally she has us doing those kind of quick repetition kind of a things. She'll give us, um, if, uh, you know, my brain can't even think about it, but we have to do some jumping jacks, jacks yeah. right, you know, and do, you can decide if you're going to do it one time, two times, three times, four times. But again, depending on how many rotations you do, you get more points. And then it's up to you because the goal is for you to push yourself. So if what she's asking you is simple enough, because just like she says in that group, we have people in their 70s. And I tell you, they outdo me each time. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm 
again, we're not comparing. I'm being encouraged by it, but I'm just like, doggone it. That is good. And I'm like, oh, it's just it's just it's great. It's amazing how you can get to the end of the day and you're tired and you're full of excuses. And then you go on the Facebook page and you're reading, oh, I didn't do this. But then I saw that somebody posted it and I got up. Ooh, I almost didn't get finished, but now I'm done. And it took me all day, but I got it done. And you're like, okay, well, I know it's nine o'clock, but they did it and so can I. And you stand there in your room and you start yes. running in place or doing something to get it to. It's like, okay, I need just 50 or 500 more. Okay, you I get up this. again and you do it. And one of the things, I don't know if she's going to do it this time, but normally for Black Friday, because people were normally shopping, we would do have to do like 20,000 steps. And before I joined her fitness challenge, I would have told you there's no way I can do 20,000 steps. Now, when I go on vacation and to do hiking, I could get in 20,000. I've been, and I'm not a shopper. So I don't do, I, even before COVID, I'm not a shopper. Yay for me. So, <laughs> and I, lo and behold, each time I was able to get in my 20,000 steps for the day after and post my Fitbit in the group to say I actually got in my steps because you become creative. I remember walking around Shakespeare Park. I, I went in the morning, walked twice, and I'm like, I'm still not there. In the evening, I went again <laughs> just to try to get in my 20,000 steps. And I did. And I felt so accomplished because of it. So it's just good. And Tiffany says, yes, the Monday motivation. Mm -hmm. That does help to, to start off the week when you have that kind of motivation to go forward and to do. So I'm looking forward to that. So I hope you still have that one. You may have modified it because for people who aren't going shopping and needed that, um, to just find ways to move and do is just a little bit um, different there. So is there any particular thing that you wanted to share specifically, either um, any, any specials that you may be having with um, signing up for a mailing list with Black Friday coming up um, for the day after Thanksgiving that you would like to share? Sure. If you go to our website, naturalfitdesigns.com, you can sign up for our email list. We will be having a Black Friday sale um, that will start Black Friday. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so, guys. So we'll be having a good Black Friday sale. We have a couple new tanks um, that are out. We have the Fit, Fly, and Fittish, the Fly, Fit, and Fabulous, the one that you just showed. Yes, Fittish, Fly, and Fabulous. We have that is coming back and it's coming back with multiple colors coming back with the design is just a little bit different. We've improved that one because a lot of people liked it, um, but wanted some colors. So we are bringing that back with colors. We have most of our, um, our best sellers, chocolate fit and killing it unstoppable wake, pray, slay, um, strong, thick fit, black belt and bougie. Those are all coming in bright colored hoodies and um, some color tank tops and color long sleeves. So it's a bunch of color for this dreary year. And you know what I love too about your your line, because so even the one when you have your commercial and I call it commercial is Facebook commercials, even for bald and beautiful, you know, you are having and rock people are rocking that. I still remember when I got um, the chocolate twisted and fit. I didn't have I still wasn't natural yet, but I'm like, I'm going to still wear this. <laughs> You know, <laughs> so, <laughs> because, hey, we're going to wear it no matter what. But I just loved um, the different sayings that you had on on different ones. It's like, oh, I see me in this, you know, chocolate is like, yes, you know. So, guys, um, definitely check out the website. Um, you a pop up will come up so that you can sign up for the email list so that you could definitely um, see what she's going to be offering there for the Friday. But like I said, I've had mine for a nice time. They wash well, they wear well, and um, I I just feel feel empowered. So even my muscles and melanin, I never started, I never did weights per se until one of your challenge when you would have us do 
different things. And it was after that that I tried lifting weights and doing things at the Y when I would go, because you you gave me an introduction or exposed me to say, well, why not? You know, why not do this? Again, I'm not going to become Hulk, but I can definitely <laughs> tone up. Even though I see some of the girls that you have showing them like, ooh, it's just good to see them. And you have people in different levels of fitness. So guys, when I tell you that Holiday Fitness Challenge is a judgment-free zone, we have all body types in there because the goal is just to get moving. Yes. Is You don't have to be fit. You don't have to be active, but if you want help to just get you going, this is this is the community for you. Yeah, we're all, it's everyone that's in there, we're all on a journey, right? We're mm -hmm. all on a fitness journey, we're all on a health journey, and we may be at different points along this journey, but I've been where you are now, or you're at where I want to be so you can help me get there. So each mm -hmm. person can help each other get to their next, mm -hmm. get to their next space. Yeah, I love that because I still remember the way, way I connected with you. You'd reached out to a friend of mine and you just said, you know, do you want me to help you in your journey of wellness? And that person said, you know, they were a little bit taken back at first because some of us could be t uh, uh, a little sensitive if somebody approached you to say that. But you, you, we all need someone to help us. And they took you up on that challenge. And I know I've been able to see improvements that they've had, um, reducing certain numbers, that reducing certain pressure, the pressure and other things. So as she said, we're all at a different point. So even if you just brought your blood pressure down a little bit, even if you were now able to raise your hand over your head that you couldn't do it before or put it behind your back, those are goals or those are milestones that need to be celebrated. And because um, all of us are not going to look like Twiggy. Some of us don't want to look like right, Twiggy. Right, right. That's not a, Twiggy is not a goal. <laughs> okay, right. It's, it's right. Not even in the hemisphere. We just want to be able to... <laughs> You know, we just want to be able to move and have a very good quality of life. So, guys, that's what we are about. So, again, natural fit design, it's pretty simple and straightforward for you to um, go to that website, click on the one that says Holiday Fitness Challenge, and you'll get an email and everything for your investment of $50. You will have a blast. And if you don't have a blast, is because you don't want to have a blast and that's having a blast. <laughs> and that's my way of Grinch and everything <laughs> because I complain sometimes during the whole challenge, but I'm going to do it. I It's just my place to complain. That is what I'm there for. I'm like, oh, you know, but it's going to get me up and get me moving. So if any of you have any any um, questions, definitely put them in there and I'll answer them later on. But I would love to see you join me in the challenge this year so that we can um, virtually connect for the next month or so as we wind up the year and um, make some healthier choices to start off the new year. So uh, I was just double checking for, okay. Uh, I don't see any questions or any things there that anyone wants to address. Okay, so um, we'll do. So I'm just going to go back to my your fitness line. I'm sorry. Okay? That's all good. That's all good. <laughs> so I know the Kamala's, well, I even love the one when you did Maxine Waters, when you did that one. I'm, um, I'm Is that one retired? One. Is that one retired? That one, so that one is retired. Um, it comes back, so I bring, I randomly bring some back. So that one will probably come back. Like that's a good one for um, Black History Month. So okay. that one will probably come back again in again in February. Okay. Um, so, because most of your sayings, um, you know, is it that when you hear a particular thing on the news or when you're listening to different things, you're just like. 
I got it. I got it. I got it. That's, yeah. that's something I got to I got to get. Yeah, so, so it's funny because I'm in a couple of t-shirt groups and, um, you know, things like that. And they're, they're like, okay, this is what's happening. And so we try to keep, we try to keep abreast of what's going on in the world so we can watch and see what's trending and, um, and stuff like that. So yeah. I, I try to make sure that I, you know, I stick to, I stick to my line. I stick to, you know, the same type of thing. So it's definitely fitness and it's definitely social justice. Um, but it's something that I want to appeal to the women that are a part of the fitness, a part of the fitness crew mm -hmm. and for natural and fitness, fitness designs. It's mostly, it turns a little younger sometimes, but it's 34, it's about 34, 34 and up. Mm -hmm. I said, I like that because I know you said it's a little bit older, but again, because the parents wear it, I know my girls, a couple of my daughters like, oh, I'm getting this one, you know, when I did the ra make racism wrong again and another one. So I think they see it and oh, then yeah, it's just yeah. like, yeah, you know, I want that. Even your living testimony. And, you know, I got that one from my, my mother-in-law. She yes. saw that and was like, oh, I like that one. I'm like, okay, <laughs> let me gift her with that. So again, guys, you could do your shopping list um, on Friday yes. <laughs> and just say, okay, this one's for her. This one's for that. Pray, slay, and wake. No, I have that backwards. Pray, slay, wake, pray, slay every day. Yes. And how many of us needed that during this 2020? Oh my goodness. Um, we got to wake up, we got to pray, and then we got to just handle our business and slay it. So those are just some fun things that I thoroughly enjoy when I saw it. So even when you did your last one, I'm like, she didn't let any time spare when I saw the Kamala. <laughs> Oh yeah, we we were we were waiting. I was waiting for I was waiting for that. So I was like, give me something. Yeah, something. <laughs> and so again, this is just a segue for my relationship coaching for guys. Sometimes people aren't listening to you. If you ever need help on finding your voice so that you can do it, definitely schedule a fifteen minute, minute complimentary call with me. I would love to help you see if we can work together so that you can find your voice because it is frustrating. It is frustrating when you're not being heard. It's like you're speaking and they think that nothing is coming through because Tara and I, before we got on, we were having some mic issues. So it's nothing like being frustrated when you're saying something and no one can hear you. It's just like, what's, what's happened? But that's a random thought. You know, I think us in America should all learn sign language. I think I'm going to have to, you know, because could you imagine if I couldn't speak, at least I could sign and someone could understand me. I can talk while you're talking. But anyway, those are just random thoughts. I'm going to look into that. So, um, but again, going back to, I love how when I see some of your 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 work and your your shirts, how they just, um, just speak to my heart. They they make my heart sing. Um, and because, uh, like I said, when I wear my fittish and fly and fabulous, I just I just feel like I could do any workout. When I was at the Y doing my Zumba or my other things, I'm just like, I look fittish, fly. <laughs> while I'm doing my workout gear. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to be able to introduce you guys to Tara. She has been one of the people in my toolkit for accountability for fitness. So she's one of, of a few because like with any community or tribe, you just can't let one person be that. You build your, 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 your tribe around that particular goal to hold you accountable as in whatever it is that is. And so this aspect is the physical um, body that we do have. We only have one. So taking the best care that we can um, is priceless. So again, for that little investment, guys, you know you buy a meal and it's $50. Um, I hear people are trying to buy these Nintendo. I don't even know what they are because I don't I don't shop Nintendo or G5, G4, whatever <laughs> these things are costing. The PS5, so, PS something? Is, is, oh, it's PS 
CC, when you don't even know the right name for it. So invest in yourself, your children or grandchildren or whoever won't miss that little $50, but you're going to have so much fun in our community as we just um, laugh and cry and work out until uh, June, January 2nd. So before we go, I want you one more time, please, to just tell them how to connect with you on social media and Instagram and um, about sure. how they fit this challenge. Sure. So um, on Instagram at Natural Fitness, at Natural Fit Designs, on Facebook, Natural Fit Designs, and my Facebook group is actually Get Up, Get Moving, Get Healthy. You can request access to that. Um, Holiday Fitness Challenge, we are currently doing our pre-week. We start on Thanksgiving the 26th, and we will be off and running. We're doing something different and something fun every day. So a lot of people are, you know, maybe I can't run, or may, do I have to do this? Do I have to do squats? And I can't do lunges and but there's something for everyone whether your strength is fitness or your strength is nutrition um there's something for there's something for everyone every single day and i forgot to mention guys we do get a medal so i it's usually the first 10 or the top 10 or so that usually get a medal a t-shirt a t-shirt a t-shirt yes so again get these wonderful t-shirts and I had one I liked when she did one that said just did it you know they usually said just do it but no her said just did it so again when people see me it's like no I'm not waiting I did it so definitely you 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 do that Lavina say yes need connections hey Tara Lavina Joseph says that hey Lavina come on girl join us that's right that's connection come on <laughs> <laughs> so um, again, guys, wanted to just share this with you because Thanksgiving is going to be a little bit different for lots of people. And um, this is just one way I, I know you can have a little community with you, especially during um, these COVID-19 situations where we are apart. You get to meet new people, guys. And I'm an introvert. I know how it is. But you'll be fine in this group. You'll be welcome. You'll be safe in this group. So come on and join us and um, look forward to seeing you. But my name is Carla. I'm your relationship doula, helping men and women bravely birth peace in the pieces of their lives. You guys have a great one. And uh, my next show is actually going to be the first week in December, I'm trying to connect with a therapist that she, Uruak, um, if she can come on, because I wanted us to talk about how to deal when we've had betrayal from somebody in authority. And she's a therapist. And so I'm collaborating with her now to see if we're going to be on December the 6th, I believe. So if her schedule allows and um, everything goes well. December 6th is the next conversation with Carla. So tune in and I'll keep you guys posted, but have a great day, afternoon, evening. Bye y'all. <laughs>